This is part 4 of .NET Return Test Questions and Answers video series. In this video, we'll discuss writing a program in C Sharp to subtract the largest even number and smallest odd number in the given array elements. One of our YouTube channel subscribers faced this question in a C Sharp Return Test. We have to achieve this without using link because when we use link, it's straightforward to find the largest even number and smallest odd number using the link max and min functions. We'll discuss that as well in just a bit. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a new console application. First, let's go ahead and create an integer array. And I'm going to make this a nullable integer array. We'll understand the reasons for that in just a bit. And let's initialize this array to you know some even and odd numbers. Let's say 2, 3, 7, 1. 1222. Now if you look at this array that we have here right now, the smallest odd number here is 1 and largest even number is 1000. So this program should be able to subtract 1 from 1000 and then display the result. And obviously the first step here is to actually find out that largest even number and smallest odd number. For that purpose I'm creating another variable of nullable integer type and let's call this largest even number and let's initialize this to null and if you're un wondering the reasons for making this a nullable integer that's because if the array does not contain any even number at all then you know largest even number variable will be null okay similarly let's create another variable to hold smallest odd number all right now we need to identify that largest even number and smallest odd number and for that purpose we are going to make use of a for each loop and loop through each element that we have got within the collection that is uh, numbers array and then we are going to check if i mod 2 equals 0. So if you divide a number by 0 and if the reminder is 0 then that is for sure an even number. Okay, so if it comes into this F block, then we know it's an even number. In which, in which case, we'll again check, okay, that this largest even number variable, it has got any value. Okay, so this has value property is going to return true or false. If, it, if that variable has got a value within it, then it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So if the largest, you know, even number variable does not have any value within it, okay or if the value of i you know whatever number you know we are checking and if that's an even number if the value of i is greater than largest even number so if any of these conditions is true then what we want to do is store that value of i within this variable. So I think this should be straightforward now. If this variable does not have any value within it, then we know that we have not initialized that in the first place, in which case go ahead and populate that value. Um, or if the even number that we are checking at the moment, if it is already greater than what we have within largest even number, even in that case, you know, um, store the value of i within this variable. Okay, so if i mod 2 is not equal to 0, then we know it's an odd number, in which case come to the else part and do the same thing. So here we are going to say if smallest odd number variable, if it doesn't have a value, or if i value is less than smallest odd number, then store the value of i within that variable. So straightforward. So this for each loop um, is basically finding out the largest even number and smallest odd number. And then all that is left is to take this largest even number, subtract it from smallest odd number, and display the result. And to speed things up, I have uh, you know typed the required if and else statements. These should be straightforward. So I don't want to you know uh, spend too much time typing this. So basically, what we are doing here we are checking if largest even number, if it's n if it is equal to null, that means the array does not contain any even number. So that's what we are going to print. Uh, else, we are saying largest even number is whatever is the value that is stored there. And the same is true for smallest odd number. 
so check if it is null if it is null then array does not contain any odd number else smallest odd number equals whatever value present in that and then this final if block is going to check if both of them are not equal to null and if that's the case go ahead and subtract largest even number from the smallest odd number and then display the output and notice that here we have three placeholders within the first placeholder we will display largest even number within the second placeholder smallest odd number and then within the final placeholder the difference between the two numbers okay so straightforward function now let's actually remove these two these two numbers from there and if you look at the array at the moment it does not contain any even numbers okay so when we run this it should print a message saying array does not contain any even numbers and the smallest odd number is one okay so obviously we are not going to do that subtraction because we don't have any even number at all okay and let's go ahead and undo the changes that we have done so now it contains uh, even numbers and odd numbers the smallest odd number is one and the largest even number is 1000 so the program should be able to subtract uh, one from 1000 and display the difference which is 999 so let's run this look at the output uh, largest even number is 1000 smallest odd number is one and thousand minus one equals 999 so very simple straightforward program to subtract the largest even number from the smallest odd number now let's go ahead and see how to rewrite this program using link so since we are not using link here you know we have to write this for each loop but if we use link it's going to you know replace this entire for each loop with uh, two lines uh, let's look at that in action first of all we need to bring in system dot link namespace and then what we can do here is get rid of this entire for each loop and then say largest even numbers equal so we have this numbers array and then I'm going to use this where link function so here we are going to specify a lambda expression so we're gonna say where x such that x mod 2 equals 0 so what is this lambda expression going to do it's going to loop through uh, each element within the array divide that by 2 and it's the result equal to 0 then it's going to select that element okay and then we are going to get all such even numbers using this where link function so once we have the list of all even numbers then we are going to apply this max link function which is going to return the max uh, maximum even number within that collection and another thing to keep in mind here is notice what this max function is returning it's returning a nullable integer okay now if we don't make this array you know a nullable integer array then this max function look at what it is returning it is returning an integer okay now if we make it a non nullable integer array and if the sequence I mean if that array does not contain any even number for example what's going to happen we are going to get an exception let's actually prove that so for now let's actually common this um, you know initialize this to one for just the time being and then let's actually get rid of all the even numbers so now notice that we don't have any even number within this array so when we run this function um, you know we are going to get an error here because we don't have any even number within the array and then when we try to invoke the max link function it doesn't find any elements within that sequence so we are going to get an exception invalid operation exception that is the reason for making this array a nullable integer array okay so when we make it a nullable integer array if the sequence does not contain any elements you know this is not going to throw an exception it's simply going to return null okay so to cater for that requirement we have made this a nullable integer array and to find out the smallest odd number we use the min function it's as simple as that so numbers dot where x such that x mod 2 not equal to 0 
So we are going to get all the odd uh, numbers and apply the min function, which is going to return the minimum of those odd numbers. And that's it. We are done. Let's go ahead and run this now. And notice that smallest odd number is 1, largest even number is 1,000, 1,000 minus 1 equals 999, the output that we expect. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.